Hey, get your feet set now. Don't get back on your heels. Set down inside. Get your chest over your knees. Here we go. Set, go. Good, good, good. Now go, now go. Good, good. I don't want to coach any other position because I think that the running back position is the most important position on the field. We have to run, we have to catch, we have to block. Good, 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 good. All right, last ones, last one. Get to the half, halfway. Uh, second one, let's go real quick, real quick. These guys come in saying, hey, this is the nature of the job. This is what I need to do, and I'm committed to do it. And if you're not, then you need to go do something else because it's too hard if you're not committed. Real quick, go. Step, 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 side, side, side. Plant, turn, and go. There you go, good, that's it. Here we go. Step, step, eyes up, eyes up. High and tight with the ball. High and tight, turn and go. Footwork comes to play with a lot with routes. So you always got to stay sharp on your routes. You always got to stay sharp on your feet. So that's why Ali do a lot of drills. Set, go. Set, 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 good. We've had to adapt to working on fundamentals without the contact part. It gives us a chance to go right back into footwork, hand placement, leverage, pressure situations, where people are, how we're going to take guys on. If you want to be great, you have to be special on details. You know, you're not going to be the fastest guy out there. You're not going to be the strongest guy out there. So if you're one of the smartest guys out there in detail, and that's how he coached, um, you'd be a great player in this league. Hands, 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 hands. Hey, Drake, the reason I'm giving you the call, cones so I don't keep my hands out here. My hands are inside on the cones. That's why we're doing it. All right, let's go repeat it again. He's just so detailed. He's probably one of the more detailed coaches I've been around. So that's why Ali go over film and, and, and come out here, execute, and watch more film. And Mel also know is this could be a touchdown block here. You know what I'm saying? If that ball's thrown right now and you get at that corner, he loses ground. Now that ball's thrown. Now I go make that play. Now he's running right down the sideline. We spend a lot of time putting together tapes to find out what type of techniques rushes use, studying linebackers, studying outside safeties and who coming off and how they rush in those situations. And I know this is walk through, Kenny, but let's make sure right now that's a clean look, right? Yeah. So right now I should be gone. What do you call here? Do you, do, he, what do you, he just told me fake across. Flash fake across? Yeah. So in that situation there, as soon as I know, I'm out of here. So I'm looking for anything coming off the edge. Would it be 50 and 91? I'm looking for the stunt and I get into my route. 10 squats over here. Here we go. We do about three or four days a week of in-season conditioning to maintain strength levels, maintain flexibility and mobility for our team. It's injury prevention for them so we can keep them on the field throughout the season. Medicine ball, just a full body total uh, explosive throws with uh, some rotational aspect to, to work the core a little bit. Everybody can't do it, I know that. And it's a situation where they understand through their whole career coming up to our level what it takes to be a running back in the NFL. Conditioning is probably one of the number one things, especially as a running back. You know, you're out there at all times, whether you're running a route, you, you, you break a 30, 40 yard run, you have to get back and next play, you might have to be ready to take on a defender, blocking, or have to run a route or a bullet or something like that. Good, 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 good. All right, last ones, last one. Get to the half, halfway. My rule is I don't ever do a drill that doesn't come up in a game. The details of everything we do. When we go into meetings, it's details. When we go out here, we practice handoffs. It's just details. So when you get to the game, it's second nature. run the ball, that's why they're here. But if you could pass the text as well as run the ball, it keep you in the league for a long time. And we are underway as Andrew Franks is in the football with a low, long kick. Yes, sir! Thank you. Let's 
an infirmary for these San Diego Chargers. 17 players on IR. That's the most in the NFL. Melvin Gordon in the backfield. 22 carries for a mere 57 yards for Melvin today. Hand off to him. He's got some room here. 30-35. Tripping his way to the 38-yard line. First down. As a shotgun snap from Slauson, looking, drills at end zone, caught, game, touchdown, San Diego! Second touchdown between Rivers and Gates. Most of any quarterback tight end combo in NFL history. Safety took off to you. 31. Come over there. It's over 100. He took off running. I couldn't. I couldn't throw it. I couldn't hold it. I was just afraid. Right. This guy. He's already moving here. He's already out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went running to Gates. Melvin Gordon over the left shoulder of Rivers in his third and goal at the seventh. Rivers back, getting rushed, about to get a hit. He keeps the football, lobbing to the back of the end zone. Tippy toe catch, Hunter Henry, touchdown San Diego! Rivers kept the play alive, his 300th career touchdown pass. Byron Maxwell. Drop that coverage. Hunter Henry just wide open. You know, it's a big commitment. You have to grind and you have to be committed and dedicated to it. Otherwise, you know, you don't come out here and you're not committed to your craft, you're not committed to being conditioned, you're not committed to the team. It'll show. It'll show out there and you'll get exposed.